Hey everybody, welcome back to Pam's Cutting Board. Today, we are gonna make corn casserole. Very simple, very easy. You're gonna need about two cups of whole kernel corn. You're gonna need a can of cream style corn. You're gonna need some sour cream. You need a box of this Jiffy cornbread mix. And you need some butter. Now that's actually all the ingredients that this recipe calls for. But, you know me, I gotta spice it up a little bit. So, I had a little bit of frozen uh, red bell pepper and some green bell pepper. So, I chopped that up. And I'm going to put that in with my casserole. I've got some chopped onion. I've got a little bit of garlic. I'm going to add an egg. I'm going to add some cheese and salt and pepper to taste. So let's go ahead and get this fixed. Mm -hmm. This is going to be mine and Wayne's supper. We're going to have it with um, some green beans and some hamburger steak. And then we're going to find us a movie and relax this evening. We've both have been working, we're tired, so we deserve a little bit of a break. This recipe was actually given to me by my friend. Shirley, she sent it to me. She says that she makes it for the holidays for her family. Mm. So, we're going to try it out. I bet it'll be good, though. How could it not be with the Jiffy Cornbread Mix? Corn and cheese. And more corn. <laughs> we love corn. But yeah. anyway, you fix it. I told you the other day you needed to get a recipe from Shirley. She sent me this one, so we've got it. That's, that's one of your subscribers, right? And friend. And friend. And co-worker. And co-worker. She wears a lot of hats. And you just throw all this together. There's no certain order that you have to put it together. What is it? Oh, bread mix. Yes. Now, Jiffy bread mix, it's sweet. And that's something that we don't, we don't particularly like sweet cornbread when it comes to our uh, pinto beans or what we call soup beans. But I do make a broccoli cornbread, and I use that uh, Jiffy bread mix. So in a few recipes I do, but if I'm just going to make like a um, pan of cornbread, I don't use the, the mix. And of course, you got to have garlic. Remember, I told you. So watch out when Pam says, the recipe don't call for this, but I, sorry for interrupting you. You're fine. And what did you put in? Uh, that's bell pepper. And before that? Onion and garlic. Uh -huh. I thought you put something in after the garlic. Um, probably, but I'm not sure. 
but I will have everything listed. I'm not gonna put a lot of salt. Now, I'm gonna add me some cheese, please. Did they call for cheese, did it? No. Okay. That's extra. In the recipe, I'll put um, what it does call for, and then I'll put optional, and that way, if you want to add it or, or not, that's up to you. That's going to be good. After you stir it a minute or two, I'll get a close up because that, that's looking good. I'm gonna get a bigger spoon though. But I've been, I've been just well begging Pam to fix this. He has. Ever since I mentioned I had a little extra corn, he's been wanting a corn uh, casserole. And I have. I don't think I've ever eat it. I was going to say, I've never made it. Um, I was going to ask you if that was something your mom made. I don't know. No, I just seen it in a magazine or something. And you fell in love with it. Is that right? Ah, uh, yes. I like corn. Yes, he does love corn. That's a lot of times if we have pizza, we'll... Open a can of corn. I have corn with their pizza. Mm. The peppers in there, you don't have to do the different colors, but to me, I just think it makes it pretty. I wonder I, if I need a bigger dish or will this. Let's see how pretty. Oh, I will get it when it goes in the dish. I may have to make another one. Remember, I, I told you the other night. She likes pretty. She put something in a dish just to make it pretty. You gotta have you eat with your eyes first. Is that an effect? You do. Okay. So I paused you just for a second and I got another dish. Cause I'm afraid if I put all of it in there, it's gonna be so thick it wouldn't get done in the middle. And it wouldn't be as good, would it? It just wouldn't get done. It would take it forever mm -hmm. to get done. I might take some out of that to make it equal. Well, Wayne, I hope you love it because guess what? You're having this all week. Well, we can... We good Samaritans, and we got a few neighbors. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven, and uh, when it bakes, gets done, we'll bring you back. Guys, it was that simple. Well, it's up to me to give the verdict. You see all that she put in it, plus a little loving care. Here goes one bite. Little one. Hey guys, little while, one. while he's tasting, I do want to tell you that I baked it for about 20 minutes at 350. That's um, the temperature that the recipe said. And it wasn't getting done fast enough for us, so I went ahead and turned it up to 400, baked it another uh, 20 minutes, and it came out perfect. So you might want to adjust your temperature. One more, because, man, it's good, though. I tried a bite. It is really good. This is a really good casserole. It'll go good with our hamburger steak and our green beans. This is a keeper, I think. Mm. What do you think? It can taste the corn. Mm -hmm. The, uh, what's that? Is that garlic? 
I've got garlic, onion, and peppers in there. You taste it every bit. And, yeah. It all blends well. And I believe this is one of your best dishes that you have made. <laughs> I do. Why didn't you say that about all of them? Well, no, this is better than you. Average dish. And I would give this three thumbs if I had it. Ooh. I sure would. I'm getting yeah. higher thumbs all the time. And I told you, all these weeks, this was what you needed to fix. Hmm. Did I? You did. Okay. And we're going to have some leftovers, so. And, uh... I know I say this every video, but uh, if you need prayer, put it in the uh, comments box, and uh, give us a prayer request, or just say, I need prayer, and we'll put you down in our prayer book. We're building up a big long list, and we pray for them every night, and we'll pray for you too. Just let us know, and uh, you request when I if you give a request, it'll not leave this house. Just send it to us. We'll pray over it. We'll keep praying until you say, you get back in touch with us and say, God's moved. And he will look for it. We love you all. And until next time, eat hearty. <laughs> eat hot. Bye-bye. Guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thank you. Like, comment, share. Hit the bell notification. Set it to all so you'll know when I upload any mm -hmm. videos. Have a good night, Bye, guys. Bye-bye.